Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melanie and I do a large variety of different food hauls. So I have done my weekly food shop. I typically go to two shops and try to get everything that I'll need for the entire week so I don't have to go out again to the shop, especially during what's going on at the moment. I want to limit my exposure to being outside, especially as not everyone's taking it seriously. Some people are still not wearing masks and people are still congregating in certain supermarkets. So if I can get away with doing my shopping all in one go, I'll do it. So as I said, I have been to two shops and I typically show you the other shop first. But when I went to that shop, I got there very, very late. It was after eight o'clock or just before eight o'clock and the shelves were pretty empty and it was very stressful because there was this woman with her four of her children, two were teenagers, two were under like 10, not having a mask on, constantly standing in the way, constantly being loud and distracting. So I didn't get much because they were constantly always by me and I felt uncomfortable with them not wearing masks. And I don't know why no one stopped them or told them to put them on, but you know, there you go. Some people just got really bad attitudes. So yeah didn't get much from Aldi so I'm going to show that as my second shop so this is from Asda and I think it was just over £70 and um, there is one item I call in which was 13 so it was about £60 without that so let me know if you think if I spent too much when you see what I've bought so the first thing is a tube of Pringles I've been getting the Aldi's version but as I said, I was really distracted now, so I didn't get them. Pringles were on offer for one twenty five in Asda at the moment. I got a Maris Piper Creamy Mash. A Classic Mash. A Root Veg Mash. And some Herbie Baked Potatoes. These three are for the person that I live with. They're very lazy. They don't really like cooking for themselves. And they want things that they can basically either put in the oven or the microwave that doesn't take them longer than a minute to do it. As in getting it out of the packet and putting it in whatever it needs to go in. They won't cut up vegetables. In fact, they won't make any other vegetables for themselves because they don't think they should have to. But there you go. That's their attitude. I've got two containers, cartons, boxes of the cauliflower and broccoli florets. Sometimes it actually works out cheaper to do this than buy a piece of broccoli and buy a cauliflower. So I've just got two of them. It does take up a lot of space but it takes up less space than it would to store two cauliflowers and two broccoli because it's flatter so it can go in the space basically. I did get the fins stone baked pizza the vegetable feast it's not as good as the vegan one which i tried to get and they didn't have it has been cooked half has been eaten half's in the fridge um i've got two cinnamon buns i got a large pumpkin it was one pound fifty there's a, a savoy cabbage there there's a pack of three red onions last week i got white onions because there was no red onions in Aldi so I got these in Asda this week they were like 47p I got about five six bananas I think it's five bananas there's a four pack of British Maribel bacon potatoes a, ba a pack of jumbones all of the sizes are on offer for 125 so I got the big ones Gingster's corn vegan corn roll I've had it um, a few weeks ago and I liked it so I got another one Jumbo minis for the dog. I got myself some rice cakes to snack on. Um, I've been eating way too much chocolate, so I've got them. And I've got cheese bread in the fridge, so I love cheese bread on them as a snack instead of chocolate every time. I got heck sausages, just the pork ones, they're not for me. I got this garlic and herb chicken breast steaks um, to try. Got them for me. I think there's three in there. So I got some of this turkey bacon last week. And I used to have turkey bacon in the past because it's less calories and it's better for you. And it used to be really tough to eat. It used to go like rock hard when you cooked it. And I wasn't burning it. 
So I, I opened my packet this week and I cooked it. And I accidentally overcooked it and I thought, oh, well, that's going to be really difficult to eat. No, it was really easy to eat, super tasty. And it says new improved recipe on it somewhere. And it definitely has improved. So I had it again today. I think there's eight slices in each pack. So I've got another pack because I'm impressed with it. I got cheese Doritos because I tried to get the Audi version and all that they had left was the original ones and the chilli ones. And they were on offer for a pound anyway. This was on offer for a pound. This is the bread we get every week and it's normally one sixty five, so it was a really good price for a pound. I got some soy no sugar milk. Um, I don't mind the normal one if they don't have this. This is always low, this one, in, in the shop. But I'm happy to get the one with sugars, I'm not bothered. I got this soup for myself. Um, I love the new packaging. This is one of my favourites. I got a light mayo because mine's about to run out. I got a six pack of Seabrook crisps for myself. I got these. I love shredded wheats and bite sized shreddies and I've not had any for ages. And I spotted these and they reminded me of the ones um, as the zone. And they've got a blueberry filling and they're one of my favourite cereals. So I got this because it sounds yummy. Um, and it's limited edition and I got two boxes of the caramel latte by Nescafe I never used to like instant drinks like this and I prefer Nespresso's or coffees from Starbucks which I never get and um, I tried a box a couple of weeks ago loved it used it all got box last week and I finished it by Wednesday so I got two this week just in case I finish it super quickly then down here there is four 1.25 litre bottles of Diet Coke, two 2 litre bottles of Diet Coke, two filtered milk by Cravendale, it lasts forever, um, six bottles of Evian, a packet of toilet rolls. There was actually loads of toilet rolls on the shelves this week, so I guess people have stopped panic buying for now. Then the item of clothing, I got were these like black joggers with grey and I don't know caramel, beige, light brown stripe. Um, they were fourteen pounds. I thought it said ten pound when I looked at the price. Um, it's got a drawstring waist which can be adjustable which I really like I don't do you know when they put a fake tie waist on I always think it's pointless so if you're going to put a tie waist on make sure you can use it if not don't put it on they've got pockets and they have a matching sweatshirt and the only reason I didn't get it is because it's not cropped because it is cropped sorry and I prefer one that's not cropped but last year if you watched me last year from Tesco I got two of the same sets where the bottoms were slim fit black joggers and the top was oversized cropped black sweatshirt and I got two of them I got one set and then I went back like maybe six weeks later and got a second one because I was so impressed with the fit and how comfortable they were and the bottom of the sweatshirt had like a drawstring and you could tighten it because one I got in my size, not realising it was oversized because Tesco clothes are notoriously on the small size so a lot of the time I have to size up but sweatpants I don't, I either size down or get my size and I got my size and I thought oh they might be a bit too big but because I'd put a little bit of weight on I thought oh no they'll just be right and they were, they were just right and I sized up on the first top and I took the tags off, put it on and I was like, I could have got a size down and then when I got the second set, which I hadn't planned at that point, I got my size and it fit perfectly. So yeah, I haven't been in Tesco since like February and they do some really good clothes in there. So yeah, I've got these for now. They're definitely not slim fit. I'll see how they fit and if I'm happy with them, I might get the cropped sweatshirt because it'd be nice to have the set 
and I like also it'll have like the stripes there and then it'll stop then you'll see the jumper and I think the stripes down the sleeve so it's not like the stripes not continuously all up my body if that makes sense so I got them they feel like they're a nice material and they'll keep me warm and I got them mainly for around the house but if they fit me right and they're not too baggy because I'm baggy clothes I'm not really into even though everything seems to be oversized at the moment if things are oversized I always size down once or twice and then it's still oversized on there um if it looks good on it's the sort of thing that if I was rushing out to the shop or rushing out somewhere or I was running late I'd be happy to wear it outside the house do you know what I mean because sometimes there's things that I've got where I definitely wouldn't go out the house And I think that's absolutely everything that I've got. If you have any questions about any of the items, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification button. That way, every time I do upload, you'll get an alert because they don't always go in the subscription boxes. I don't know why, but I've noticed that with people I follow, every now and then one of the videos won't show up and I won't realise they've posted one. So yeah, I hope you're all doing okay. Let me know if there's anything that you want information on or let me know your favourite thing to buy from Asda that you can't get anywhere else. Hope you're all having a great day no matter what you're doing and thank you for watching.